All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how to activate your eSIM for Google Fi. If you just got your brand new Google Pixel 4a, if you have any kind of SIM cards in there, I'm going to go ahead and remove it for a second, uh, and then you'll have no signal up there, but you want to go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi. Then you want to go ahead and go down to settings, uh, and then you go to um, network, then to uh, mobile network, and it's going to tell you if you have a SIM card inserted now, if you don't have you can download a sim instead and add eSIM. So that's what you want to do. And here's the prompts for that. So you go next. It's checking the network because you need to be connected to the network. So you'll need to um, go ahead and select a provider. And we're going to choose Google Fi. Uh, and we're going to start service with Google Fi. But you can do T-Mobile, AT&T, Sprint, uh, Google Fi. It even says you can add another provider. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and choose Google Fi. And it's gonna check the network. It's setting up the phone. And just give it, give it a second. I already have Google Fi, but this is for a person who doesn't have Google Fi and you're setting up service and you don't wanna physically use an, uh, a um, SIM card. This is what you can do. So it'll go through this process right here and I'll let it go. It's setting up the phone. Google Fi is now active. You're ready to use. And that is it. So I won't show my phone number or anything like that, but um, that is how you do it. You just go in and download it. And Google Fi, um, it says not fully set up yet, but that was there before because I had other SIM in there. So you click done. You can see I'm on Google Fi now. I can even disconnect from the Wi-Fi and I have full LTE. All right, so now that you got your eSIM set up, I went on ahead and put my SIM card back in here that most people have. A lot of people don't have my Google Fi number. Uh, some people do, but either way, the phone will ring on this phone now instead of the other phone I had, so I don't have to carry two phones anymore. So activating the eSIM card if you have multiple phone lines is a huge plus. So um, if you go here, now you can see that I have everything set up default back to my AT&T, but you can click on here and you can change text messages to come from Google Fi, uh, but I have it set to AT&T. Basically, I want to have Google Fi, my people call me on this phone pretty much for the Google Fi, uh, or I can set it to ask every time, and that's pretty much how it is, call preferences and SMS preferences, and then data is set to AT&T. So if you go here, same thing, mobile data. You go here, mobile data is turned off. So if I turn that on, it's gonna to go to Google Fi. Now, a lot of people have asked me about the Google Fi service, and I gotta tell you, Google Fi has been fantastic. No issues whatsoever. None whatsoever. And it's pretty incredible that a lot of people don't have Google Fi at this point in the game, because Google Fi, even though T-Mobile bought out Sprint, they say they didn't buy them out, they merged. T-Mobile bought them out, they pretty much, because they've Sprint is pretty much gone. As of August 2nd, the branding of Sprint is no longer. So US Cellular, T-Mobile, and Sprint is what Google Fi is operating on. So some people think that they think they would think that's a bad thing, but you forget only the name changed. It's still they're still using Sprint's network. And when I travel with Google Fi, I can keep service pretty much everywhere. It's jumping between networks because you have to have a Google Fi certified device. And the Pixel 4a is a certified device. So I wanted to go ahead and make this video for you to let you know you should activate your eSIM if you have if you have Google Fi um, and you just bought the phone. Activate your eSIM because you can switch between. You can take out the SIM card in, in this phone and then turn off the eSIM, period, and just have this SIM card. So I say that if you, in fact, really want to use the Google Pixel 4a with dual SIMs, activate the eSIM with the provider that you want, and then put your other SIM card, put your other SIM card from the other provider in here. Because so I have an AT&T SIM card and I activated the eSIM and it's really simple. And if you just don't, if you only have one provider and it's gonna be T-Mobile or whatever, you can activate that eSIM with anyone now. You don't have to choose Google Fi. But if you bought this through Google Fi or you bought the phone and you wanna start service with Google Fi, it is just that simple. So there you have it. I've been with Google Fi for over four years and I have not had any issues with them. I think I traveled one time, I had a problem with my voicemail, 
or something like that. And I called them and they were very helpful and boom, that was it. Problem solved. Uh, I was out in the middle of Arkansas or somewhere. I don't know where I was at, but the, the service is good on Google Fi and I just wanted to show you how to activate that eSIM. This is your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoy it. Take care.